So let's let's go through some of those terms. So you've got remarketing. You've got what are some of the other terms here? Give us some definitions and help us to start to get a little a little clarity for you. It all makes sense, but for some of the folks, they're going. What's the difference in these particular types of audiences? So, for example, if we talk about an in-market audience, that is people who have shown a strong interest in purchasing either something like your product or something similar. So that's usually a very good audience to target of new people that are not yet familiar with your brand, but actually really want to get something that you offer. Mm -hmm. In terms of remarketing, that means that you're targeting people who've already been in touch with your brand. Sometimes people might also refer to it as retargeting, remarketing, it's both the same. Now, that could be people on your email list. It could be people that have visited your website. It could be people that, you know, have put a, a product in the shopping cart but haven't checked out yet. Could be people who've been on, on your YouTube channel or in your app. So there's a lot of different ways of remarketing you got there. And... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, I think just one term I wanted to clarify, which is keywords. It sounds simple, but I want to make the, the, the distinguishment between keywords and search terms. Mm -hmm. So keywords are the keyword phrases that you enter in Google ads for which you want to show up. And search terms are the actual terms that people type in Google when your ad shows up. So you get a search term report where you can actually then, which you can use to even refine your keywords more. So you know, my experience with Google Analytics is over time, they started to diminish the, the, the keyword data of the search terms that you were showing up for. Slowly over time, they hid those to, I guess, to really um, target those that were exploiting keyword searches or really keyword stuffing. How do we, how do we identify what it is that folks are finding us? So I really feel that the search term report in Google ads is, is quite extensive usually and helpful. Um, it's especially if you use the keyword option of broad match modifier, that helps you to figure out what else are people looking for. So for example, if I offer prom dresses, right? Blue prom dresses. Are you looking to buy them? Are you looking to rent them, right? Are you looking for specific sizes? And then with the data that I get, I can then refine either my keywords or even get inspiration for blog articles, right? Or, or even business. If I see a lot more people looking for renting blue prom dresses, then I probably would want to look into uh, uh, making that offer on my website. Hey, thanks for watching these golden nuggets. And as a reward, I got another big fat golden nugget just for you. I wrote this book for you to help you get your act together online so you can grow your business better. You're searching, you want to learn. This is a great book. Grab the book, grow your business. Amazing, right? <laughs>